Okay guys, so today we'll solve the problem linkless cycle on link node. So the question says, given head, the head of a link list, determine if the link list has a cycle in it. There is a cycle in a link list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, pause is used to denote the index of the node that tail's next pointer is connected to. Note that pause is not passed as a parameter. Return true if there is a cycle in the link list, otherwise return false. Okay, so what we have to do in this question is we have to check if the last pointer on the node so here minus four if the pointer of the last node is null if it doesn't point to anything then there's no loop but if it points to a node internally in the link list so here it's uh, pointing to two so we have a loop in the link list okay so how do we solve this problem so there's a algorithm called the floyd loop detection algorithm which states that you have to take two pointers, a fast pointer and a slow pointer. So both of them will be placed at the head. So uh, they both will be placed at three in this example. And the fast pointer will move by two paces. So uh, three from three, it will go to two and then zero. And the slow pointer will move by one pace. So here two. So at any point of the iteration, if the fast pointer is equal to the slow pointer, then we get then we know that there's a loop present in the, uh, uh, in the link list. Otherwise, there's not a loop present. So how do we code it? Uh, I'll show it to you guys. Okay, I'm running it. Uh, okay, so two is. Yeah, and submitting it. Yeah, so it's accepted. So what's happening over here is we have three we have two, we have zero, we have four. So what we're checking is if minus four, sorry. So what we're checking if there's a loop present or not. So we're placing two pointers over here, F and S, fast and slow. Okay, the fast pointer will move by two paces in each iteration. Okay, so all, both the fast and slow are ahead. So if the fast is not null and the fast dot next is not null, the both will move. Uh, so the slow will be equal to slow dot next. So slow will go over here in the next iteration and fast. Okay. So and fast will go over here in the next iteration. Okay. So now the slow is not equal to fast. Okay. So we go back into the loop. Here again, fast is not null and fast dot next is also not null. Then the fast will go to three because it's already connected. So it will go to two. Sorry, because four is connected to two. So we'll go back one pace to two and S will go forward one pace to zero. Now, when we go into the loop again, S will go to minus four and F will also go to minus four. Now, slow is equal to fast, so true. Now, otherwise will be, uh, so yeah, it's true basically. But if there wouldn't be, uh, be null, then it would be having false if they both weren't equal at any point. Yeah, so, Let's take an example. So how can I show it? Yeah, if four over here would have a null pointer, okay? So it would have become automatically null when uh, f would have reached over here. Like if f would have reached minus four and went to minus two, it would have been null because fast is true, but fast dot next is null. So the, we would have returned false then. Okay, guys, but here we have four pointing to two so at one point of state at one stage of point s and f will become same and we'll return true so yeah that's how you solve the problem